to understand the definition of an attractor, um, it's important to know what open and closed sets are. So a set S, and our set is living within some space, so maybe our set is a subset of the real line, or our subset is a subset of the plane, or our subset is a volume region that's a subset of R3. A set S is an open set if, for each point, P, which is a point in the set S, we can find a radius R that's larger than zero so that all the points Q uh, that are in our original space, but maybe are not in our set, all these points within a distance R of P are themselves in S. So what we're trying to say is if that we have a point P and it's living in our set S, um, we can draw a little ball around it and we, if we choose a small enough ball, we're going to be able to draw a ball so that the entire ball, which we'll call a neighborhood, the entire neighborhood of P uh, lives within the set. As an example, consider the set um, 0, 1, including the endpoints, as a subset of the real line. This is not an open set. Why not? Well, if I go to the point 1 and I try to try to draw a little neighborhood around it, no matter how small the little neighborhood is, it's fine on this side, and there's a problem on this side. Um, 1 plus r is greater than 1 and is not within the set for any r greater than 0. So uh, we can't choose any radius so that this side is going to be in the set. That's always a problem for boundary points. Um, boundary points of a set are, if they're part of the set, we're just not going to have an open set. Now another example, this one is an open set. Consider um, the, the disk in the, in the xy plane in R2 that doesn't include its boundary. Um, and if I choose a point within this disk, no matter how close I am to the edge, let's say I'm some distance to the edge, well, I can choose a radius that's, say, half that distance to the edge. And at a radius of half that distance to the edge, I can draw a little circle, a little disk around my point, and that whole disk lies within the set. And that's true no matter how close I am to the edge, because um, no matter how close I am to x squared plus y squared equals 1, I'm not quite there, and so I can always draw this tiny little neighborhood that lies within the set. This is an open set. Another example is a set that um, is a punctured uh, disk. It's the set. Uh, it's the set x comma y such that x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to one, and x comma y does not equal zero zero. So um, this kind of set would arise if we included a limit cycle and everything inside of it, but not a fixed point living at the origin. And we know that within a limit cycle, there's always a fixed point. This set um, is not open. Uh, this boundary of it is open, but this boundary of it is not open because uh, I can draw a little neighborhood right here um, of, these, of a point on this boundary. And no matter how small a neighborhood I draw, part of it needs to be uh, not in the set. And so, um, not an open set. Another example, this one is the whole plane uh, minus the point at the origin. This one is an open set. Uh, there's actually, uh, the only boundary that exists is this one at the origin. That's the only one we need to worry about. And... Um, so if we draw a point here, uh, it's always some distance from zero. And so we can take that distance and cut it in half to find a radius so that we can draw a little neighborhood uh, that doesn't include the origin and that is safely within our set. So um, the whole region with a single point included, uh, sorry, a single point excluded, that's an open set.